Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this problem related to trigonometry, trigonometric ratios. We have been given tan theta minus cot theta equals to A and cos theta plus sin theta equals to B. We have to use these two equations and eliminate theta and try to get a relation between A and B. Now, as usual, we'll start with trying to convert them into sin and cos because we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1. And we want to leverage this identity to solve this problem. So let's go ahead and first write down tan theta minus cot theta equals to A in terms of sin and cos. It will become sin theta by cos theta minus cos theta by sin theta equals to a. Simplify that. Taking LCM, we will have sin square theta minus cos square theta by sin theta cos theta equals to a. Or can we write down sin square theta minus cos square theta equals to a sin theta cos theta. We want to use sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to one identity. So let us square this again one more time and see what happens. Sin square theta minus cos square theta whole square equals to a square sin square theta cos square theta. Let's open the brackets. What we will have is sin square theta minus cos square theta can be written as sin square theta plus cos square theta whole square minus 4 sin square theta cos square theta. Now how we are getting this formula? Let me write it for you. We have a formula that a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square equals to 4ab. Now, why are we using only this specific formula? Because we know this is equals to 1. That is the logic behind it. So, let's go to the next step. We will have 1 equals to a square plus 4 into sin square theta cos square theta. Now, we got a square plus 4 into 1 sin square theta cos square theta equals to 1. Now, can we get sin square theta cos square theta in terms of b then we can eliminate the theta there. So, let us go to the next step. It is b given to us cos theta plus sin theta equals to b. What we want to get? Cos square theta plus sin square theta. So, let us square it on both sides. We will have cos theta plus sin theta whole square equals to b square which is equals to cos square theta plus sin square theta plus 2 sin theta cos theta equals to b square. But we know this is 1. So, we can write down 1 plus 2 sin theta cos theta equals to b square or 2 sin theta cos theta equals to b square minus 1. Now, let us square it again on one more time both sides. We have 4 sin square theta cos square theta equals to b square minus 1 whole square. Now, we will leverage these two equations and try to solve, complete the problem. So, we have 1 equals to a square plus 4 into sin square theta cos square theta. Can we write it as 1 equals to a square plus 4 into what is sin square theta cos square theta from here? b square minus 1 whole square divided by 4. That will give us a square plus 4 into b square minus 1 whole square equals to 1. So, eliminating theta from tan theta minus cot theta equals to a and cos theta plus sin theta equals to b what we get is a square plus 4 into b square minus 1 whole square equals to 